been, I think, fairly civil between the two of you, but I guess he didn't like something that you said in the countdown show. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. I think in the countdown show, you said something to the effect on, like, bring it on, bitch. Bring it on. Bring it on. He can sense his way. See, the disrespect, you're calling me a bitch, Felipe. The disrespect didn't have to happen. You're going to wish you didn't say that. Oh, yeah, I just, he was, yeah, he was just talking to me. I was talking to him. Bring it on. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't his feelings. I mean, you know, he's fired up, you know? Yeah, and so he tweeted saying that, like, you shouldn't have called him bitch, that that was, uh, I think we, here it is, hiring black fighters to mimic me will not help you, Stipe, and you shouldn't have called me a bitch, the disrespect wasn't ne necessary, let's play. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to disrespect him in any ways. I was just, you know, just the moment, he's the moment, I mean, I guess, sorry, I don't know. What'd you make of that first line? What's that? It's a bit weird, like, that you're hiring black fighters to mimic him? I don't hire anyone. Or I think he's talking about training partners or something like that. Like, I, it doesn't seem like you're doing yeah. it specifically because of their skin color. You're just trying to get training partners to help you prepare for him. That's the way I would take it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, isn't that what you're supposed to do when you fight someone? You get someone trying to mimic someone? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it. showed me Ruben Stein's tweet for that big dummy shit rat. Listen up, Junior. Translate this to whatever caveman dialect you need to and get it through that big empty skull attached to that gumby ass body. I don't posture and I don't bluff. As soon as I get off this beautiful five-star Trump golf course located in the heart of MAGA country, West Palm Beach, Florida, I'm calling Hunter and Dana and we can all see who's posturing for clicks, bozo. Can you even name, like if I asked you to list all of your surgeries, could you even do it all? I could, I could name a bunch of them, I, uh, but I'm going to miss some. I, get, I did uh, 12, 12 knee surgeries now, um, four leg surgeries from, you know, the one I broke my leg. Um, I've had three elbow surgeries. I've had three hand surgeries. I've had two neck surgeries. I've had two shoulder surgeries, eye surgery, uh, nose surgery. Uh, I don't know what number we're at, but probably kind of close. Um, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I don't know what else, but yeah, we, I've done the math with my wife, so that's how I know I'm at 30. <laughs> She's an auditor. <laughs> she, she worked for Price Warehouse Coopers as an auditor, so she, she did the math for me. Is it like after third, is it like getting a sandwich where after 30 surgeries, the next one's free? I hope so. I told myself there's any surge, any, I'm not having any more surgeries in my life until I'm done fighting. After fighting, I'm on, honestly gonna have to get a knee replacement at, at some point, uh, maybe two of them. Um, but then I think I'm good. And hopefully I'm, ho I'm gonna hold out on that as long as possible, hoping that the, um, the technology gets better and better and it becomes super seamless. 
if you knew the toll that uh, like wrestling and fighting would have on your body, would you still do it? Yeah, yeah, I love it, man. I love, <laughs> I love, I love the competing. I don't, and you know, thirty surgeries. I know it's a lot and everything, but I don't feel bad for myself, and I still feel great. Bad Biglet, easy money. Возможно, что дадут сразу за пояс. Это будет после Рамадана. Могут назначить. И могут, если, например, в... если не будет боя, имеется в виду, если не за пояс, то любой другой бой. Уже до Рамадана хочу подраться. В, мае, в январе хочу выступить. Или после Рамадана, в мае, может. То есть Адвалишвили в январе не будет? Не-не, его сто процентов до Рамадана не будет. Так, а почему? Это с ним как-то связано? Ну, это уже надо его спрашивать, почему. То есть не хочет он именно с да, его... да, это, конечно, да. Это не связано с тем, что я отказываюсь, я принимаю бой. А если до Рамадана, то это, скорее всего, с едонком получается? Да, 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 с едонком. many reasons did you watch his last fight against Robert Whitaker and if so what do you think especially of the the takedown and then the finish yeah I did watch it and um you know I think it was super impressive to be honest it's it's funny because a lot of people expected that to be a tough fight for him and um you know you can ask around all the people that I talked to I kind of thought he would do that to Whitaker which it, it it's so you know it's one thing to think that or to kind of see that happening, but he actually did it, which is super impressive. You know, Whitaker's not a not an easy fight for anybody, and and he made it look easy. So, you know, I was really impressed with his last performance. Um, and yeah, it it seemed like he kind of took a different mentality into the fight as well, which was cool to see. But that's a fight I'm looking forward to. I think obviously he's quite a bit um, ahead of me right now, but he'll be fighting for the belt soon, and then I'll catch up quick. When you did get a title shot, Shogun Hua was a guy that you really admired, and he he gave you that opportunity to win the title. What's the difference between that and Tom Aspinall now coming up, with you being the big dog in the yard and him kind of being the young upstart, even though he is the interim champion, he has beaten a lot of the top 10 heavyweights right now. But what do you see as the difference between Shogun giving you a shot and you giving Aspinall a shot? Well, I, you know, I, I've always been a person to like move on my own terms, you know, and I, 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 I I march to the beat of my own drum. And I just don't want to be one of those athletes who who sticks around forever. You know, I'm I'm 37 years old, which is old for combat sports. You know, if we were talking golf or basketball or it'd be different. But you know, I, I fight for a living and I, I don't think the fans realize um, my body and what I put it through over the years. We're also putting our brain on the line, you know, so um I've been doing it for a very long time. I've been fighting for a very long time at the absolute highest level. And um, and I just don't feel like I'm in a position to have to to fight much longer. You know, I, I want to fight guys who have uh, legacies that's worth challenging. And Tom simply doesn't have a legacy that's worth getting me out of bed. You know, he's not that important to me. It's not really a big deal to me. Now, Alex Pereira, on the other hand, that guy is a multiple-time world champion. He's a two-division champion like myself. He's the person that I believe will be, uh, I want to use the word worthy, of being in there with me. Um, I get that Tom's exciting and that a lot of young fans would love to see me challenged. But I've been doing that literally my whole career. I've been the main event my whole career. I've fought the number one contender my whole career. and. Tom's late. I don't know if he went the amateur route, but I've been here since he was in high school, well, since most people were in high school. Most of our fans were in high school. So it's just right now, if I were to do it again, it would be against Alex Pereira, um, just because he actually has a, res a resume worthwhile. Um, sorry for such a long answer. <laughs> If 
if anybody has the choice between John Jones retiring or John Jones fighting Alex Pereira, I think everybody's taking the latter choice. The big question, I think, in people's minds are, does the heavyweight title have to be on the line here? Because the heavyweight title, I think, with an interim champion, it, that's what no. people are kind of hung up on, is the unification of that title. Would you say relinquish the title and then fight Alex Pereira at just a heavyweight yeah. feature fight or go back down to light heavyweight? What, what's your mindset on the interim championship being kind of a hang up? Well, the interim championship shouldn't have been there in the first place. Uh, the only reason why there was an interim championship fight was because I got hurt and they needed to keep uh, the importance of that Madison Square Garden event. But Sergey and Asma shouldn't have been fighting for an interim title in the first place. Um, they should have just been a replacement fight, just a main event fight. I don't think that, I think making it an interim fight was premature. And now you have a bunch of confused people, um, you know, when you have, when you have a dominant champion that's been around as long as I have, there was no reason to put an interim championship belt out there. So that's the repercussion of Madison Square Garden last year. So would you care if a title was on the line against Lex Pereira? You'd, you'd be happy with it being a feature fight? It'd be cool to fight over the heavyweight championship, but I, I would also willingly give up uh, the heavyweight championship. I, I, I walked away from the light heavyweight championship and, uh, and I'd, I'd love to walk away from this one as well, on top, on his own terms, good head and shoulder, making lots of money. I, 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 love, I love the position that I'm in right now. Um, fighting Pereira for the Banff belt, that'd be cool. We both have, we both have uh, two belts of two weight classes. And the night we fought, we'd be both fighting for our third belt, which would be the Banff. How cool would that be? You heard it here first. I haven't had this conversation with any other reporter. But I, I would also willingly give up uh, the heavyweight championship. I, I, I walked away from the light heavyweight championship. Fighting Pereira for the Banff belt, that'd be cool. Two belts and two weight classes. And the night we fought, we'd be both fighting for our third belt, which would be the Banff. How cool would that be? 